moving to the uniform contract format, continuing um, part two, contract clauses. Uh, these are all clauses that may be required by law um, or any additional clauses that were not discussed in the uh, schedule portion of the federal contract as well. Um, there may be references that are made to um, other FAR clauses or agency supplements as well um, by the um, by the government or by the uh, contractor. Um, if they ever get to be too complex, and honestly, even if they're not super complex, I still recommend uh, that you put in an index of all of your contract clauses in part two so that you can signify um, what goes where and for what purpose. Part three is your list of documents, exhibits, and other attachments. Um, this may also be a reiteration of the title of your uh, contract date, number of pages for each of your documents. It also clarify uh, if there are any definitions that are um, specific to your project or specific to the organization. Um, having an index uh, and defined terms or um, a dictionary of defined terms is really helpful um, to put here in this particular section. Um, you may also utilize um, the contract data requirement form, which is the DD form 1423, um, which helps lay out exactly how you're going to specifically um, have an output of your uh, data here. And then in part four, um, you have your representations and instructions as well. And it's pretty self-explanatory, I would say, in that, in that area. This brings to mind, too, Angela, that when you get these proposals, you're going to have to take more time to get this done. You're not talking about pro forma documentation that's done on a regular basis. It's going to take more time for the Central Sponsored Research Office. It's going to take more time for the faculty member. It's going to take more time for everybody in the research team. It's probably going to take more time to route it. So this is one of those that you might want to do that backwards counting clock of saying, okay, we're aiming to submit on X date, and rather than have things ready to go a week ahead of time, maybe we need to have things pretty ready to go two weeks ahead of time because there's just that much more detail that can trip us up. 